Hey friends, I'm Karan from geekchamp.com. You must have heard about the blue screen of death error, but what is the gray screen of death error? We have explained it on this article on the website. The link to it is in the description section of this video. And even otherwise, we will explain everything in the video itself. So the first solution will be to check your hardware connection, especially if you have multiple monitors. It has been noted that the Samsung G7 monitor and connections related to it have been problematic. The second solution is to update the graphics card driver on your Windows computer. So search for device manager in the Windows search bar and open the device manager. After this, you can expand the list of display adapters. Right click on the first display adapter and select update driver. Click on search automatically for drivers. Right click on the second one, select update driver search automatically for drivers. The third solution is to run an SFC scan. So search for command prompt in the window search bar and click on run as administrator in the right pane to open the elevated command prompt window. Now type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter to invoke the SFC scan. This scan needs a while to complete. First it will verify and then it will scan and all. You will have to let it complete before closing the scan window. The next solution is to run a DISM scan. This is similar to the SFC scan and it has three commands but I'll stick to the restore health one. So I'll copy this one from the website itself. Now I'll search for command prompt in the window search bar and I'll click on run as administrator in the right pane to open the elevated command prompt window. Paste the command line here and hit enter. This will initiate the DISM scan. The next solution is to disable fast startup in Windows 11. So press the Windows key and the R button together to open the run window. Type the command powercfg.cpl and hit enter. This will open the power options window. In the left pane, click on choose what the power buttons do or choose what the power button does. It depends upon your computer. Now check this option for change settings that are currently unavailable. If turn on fast startup is checked, uncheck it and then click on save changes. The next solution is to use Windows security to check for viruses and malware. For this, you'll have to search for the word Windows security in the Windows search bar and open Windows security. Okay. In the window security window, go to the virus and threat protection tab on the list on the left hand side. In the right pane, select scan options. Select full scan. Scroll down and click on scan now. The next solution is to run the power troubleshooter, but the power troubleshooter does not exist. It has been phased out. So the best you can do is update your windows and it will try to fix the problem. Right click on the start button and select settings from the menu. Go to the Windows Update tab on the list on the left hand side. In the right pane, click on Check for Updates. Was this helpful? If yes, then please subscribe to our channel. And if not, let us know in the comment section of this video on how we could fix it further. We will also investigate it. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.